Welcome back. All right, you can take a step back in time for a night of dancing, music, and a lot of fun. Lafayette High School is holding its annual sock hop for members of the classes of the 1960s. And to learn more about it, we're joined by Greg Hancock and Ward Pell from Lafayette's Class of 65. Welcome. Glad well, to have you here. Thank you for having us. We're, we're excited. We love to share anything about Lafayette and all the schools in town getting together. Oh, it sounds like fun. Yeah, it really is. It was a great era to be in school. It was during the 60s. Mm -hmm. And this group seems to really enjoy dancing and playing and having a good time. So you're going to really good. recreate the sock hop, right? So what's, it, what's it like? Well, now we don't really recreate the sock hop. <laughs> we wear our shoes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Some of us do. Yeah. Some, Some of us. We all okay. do that. Depends on how late in the night you get. You got it. Right. Right. Now, some of you girls may be out of But we have a great band, the Silverbacks, and Greg, of course, is the lead singer with them. And um, we just, jeans. Mm -hmm. We began we to realize that. a few years ago that the older we get, uh, the more diverse our our population, our social population <laughs> yeah. is, because the people we graduated with, some of them are not here anymore, mm -hmm. and a lot of the people that were not in our class were our very close friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. So by having the sock hop and opening opening it up to everyone from the 1960s, we get to see a lot of people that we we lived with, but we might not have gone to school mm -hmm. with. Yeah. Well, you said a lot, a lot of, of folks from across town, but you said even uh, out in the region there will be some others. Throughout well, the there region. Will be, but the, we, people dated each other. Mm -hmm. It wasn't exclusive Lafayette. You'd have guys at Lafayette that would date the Bryan Station or the Henry Clay. Girls, ah, know. there are some good stories there. I know that. <laughs> yes, yes. There are some good stories. I'm sure those come back to life. <laughs> and our class grew up and, and went away for jobs. Yeah. Or, or they met people in college who lived in other Kentucky towns, and, so they went there. And you all do a lot of good. A lot of good comes out of this. Yes. Tell us about the cause. It's a charitable, charitable event. Uh -huh. Every year we pick a different one. This year, uh, the, the proceeds will go to the arts programs at Lafayette High School. Mm -hmm. A lot of the public school programs have been defunded. And and they need some resources. Yeah. So we will always pick a charity and we always give to the Alumni Association Scholarship Fund. Yes. So Very we provide important. part of a scholarship and we help uh, an organization of today's students. It kind of creates a liaison between students of the past and students of the present. Yeah, good, we, good. we all walk the same halls. Well, it's coming up Friday night and it'll be from 6 until 10. And uh, we appreciate you coming in. And I think. Come uh, prepared to have fun. Ward's ready to go, you can tell, right? <laughs> it's time to go and party, folks. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> uh, let's go off and. Around bar. Yeah, okay. That's great. Let's